So I'm delighted to be with you on this official inauguration of the third edition of the Africa Law Tech Festival year 2022. I thank the Lawyers Hub for convening this event, which has been instrumental in propelling dialogue and engagement on ICT policy, regulation, and laws in Kenya and even beyond. The mission of the Lawyers Hub is to consistently bring together like-minded people from across the globe to share and exchange ideas on how we can best promote digital adoption and the transformation that we're seeing is commendable. Ladies and gentlemen, I note that the theme of this year's Africa Law Tech Festival is Africa, Europe Artificial Intelligence Policy Dialogue 2022, and that it will be held in four key cities, that is Nairobi, Paris, Geneva, and Brussels. My ministry is highly supportive of organizations such as the Lawyers Hub that consistently advocate for increased dialogue and engagement across both public and private sectors on emerging trends and policy concerns related to ICT and technology. So I'm happy to note that the conversation for this festival delves even further into the emerging technologies with a focus on artificial intelligence. Without doubt, the use of AI technologies will be transformative across several key sectors in Kenya and beyond in all development sectors. The benefits that are associated with AI, such as enhancing transparency, efficiency, inclusivity, as well as the ability to make better decisions and deliver better services to citizens, will definitely transform our economies in Kenya Africa and even globally. I'm convinced that our challenge today is not about the adoption of the digital technologies. Rather, the greater challenge lies in sustaining the momentum and adopting to the fast changing environment. Let me say also that the, there's a lot of legal work that is required to ensure that the laws that we put in place, the projects, the processes that we engage in will yield the best results. And it's great that lawyers are coming together so that even as we develop these projects, as we ensure that there is the data protection that was uh, required and the privacy that's required, ensuring that data is kept within either the borders or even when it goes out, how it is protected. All these are very key uh, areas that, that we need really the legal uh, community to be a part of in being able to deliver, not just uh, when we go to court, but ensuring that even in advance, we're able to have all the right uh, policies and documents in place. And as we innovate and as we come up with new uh, technologies, new things that need to come out of the Silicon Savannah, as we love to call ourselves, then how do we protect our intellectual property? And how do we ensure that in all the processes that we're using, we do not lose those innovations because of some legal uh, maybe technicalities or we delay implementation because we've not followed certain uh, processes and it's all those things that you know ai can help in implementing and and, and moving uh, much uh, faster so as i always say ai is powered by human intelligence our youth who are our demographic dividend need to be equipped with the right skills to enable them to effectively implement digital solutions and to reap the full rewards of digitization. Large corporations such as Meta, Walmart, the National Football League, Safaricom, are already perfecting their AI through young people based right here in Kenya. And this affirms our technological aptitude and the rich talent base that we have as a country. To all of us, AI calls for a review of our business processes, redesigning job roles, and managing the transition to align with the changing digital paradigms. I therefore urge you all to plug in fully and to make your voice heard as we work towards developing policies 
that promote AI and protect human rights as we create an AI ecosystem that supports the development of AI and analyzes the potential risks of artificial intelligence and as we go to the full stretch to implement the mitigation measures that will be required. To Linda Boyle and the rest of the Lawyers Hub team, keep up the good work. I thank you once again for organizing these dialogues and look forward to receiving the outcomes and recommendations from this Africa-Europe AI policy tour that you're currently having. Thank you all and God bless you.